Hello, Web3 TV friends. My name is Ornella Hernandez, and today I'm at the Genesis XBT event. I'm with one of the attendees, an angel investor named Daniel. How are you? Yeah, so uh, my name is uh, Daniel. Uh, I'm an angel investor. I invest in early stage uh, crypto companies and I help them actively as an advisor with fundraising, with partnerships, with strategy, with uh, uh, helping uh, uh, with setting up a proper advisory board and in many other things. Uh, I come from traditional finance background. I led test valuation methodology at $60 billion plus uh, investment management firm. Before that, I worked in uh, management consulting. I advised uh, commercial and central banks. Um, I'm in crypto since 2017. We made the largest ICO in uh, Eastern Europe. We raised over- the Largest what? Uh, ICO oh. in Eastern Europe. Uh, what, what company? Uh, it was bankx.com uh, and our uh, our ex-employees have co-founded One Inch, uh, ZK Sync, uh, Tornado Cash and a number of other projects. So it, it was at that time, it was one of the uh, strongest uh, technical teams uh, in the world. Okay. So as an advisor, what are you hearing from people that you advise, clients? What are they most concerned about right now given the market conditions? Yeah, like in, in, during the crypto winter, uh, everyone is concerned that uh, it might last longer than expected and uh, some of the uh, companies might uh, run out of uh, cash, run out of, uh, they might not have enough uh, runway. Yeah. And, um, are things different now? Is spring around the corner? <laughs> so now, like obviously, like last month, in like in October 2023, uh, some uh, crypto OGs, even crypto OGs, they yeah, those for, for a long time. Like they told me, oh, maybe uh, crypto will never go up, and like they were very de depressed. It was like only several weeks ago. But now, like the situation has uh, changed uh, dramatically, Bitcoin has pumped, and like this, uh, these people are uh, much uh, happy, look much happier now. <laughs> and what about yourself? Are you happy that Bitcoin's going up? Uh, actually, like I have a very uh, mid to long -term, and even long-term strategy, and uh, uh, to me, like the current fluctuations are not of. Uh, um, they do not. Uh, um, influence much uh, uh, of my long-term profitability. A lot of my strategy is, fo is focused on yeah, more mid to long-term. Okay, so what does that mean then that, uh, like what is, you, what is your strategy when it comes to investing in crypto? Uh, so I, I, I have uh, liquid assets, obviously, but, but I also have some liquid assets which are, uh, which are uh, like basically portfolio, my portfolio companies who have like uh, uh, many of them will uh, only list their token within several months or some, some of them maybe will list in one, two years. So uh, uh, like uh, current uh, conditions, so uh, this is like... Uh, do not influence me a lot, to be honest. Yes, so like I because the latest strategy is more long term overall. And so, what else are you looking at to invest in? Maybe is it uh, gaming or NFTs or what, what are you looking at? Mm -hmm. Because I come from traditional finance background, I mostly focus on infrastructure, on DeFi and CFI projects. But I also have some portfolio companies from yeah. the uh, GameFi space. Yeah, and uh, but overall, yeah, I focused uh, on I'm focused on. In infrastructure and DeFi, DeFi applications. All right, and um, any predictions you could make? Anything? Any advice actually, maybe that you could offer uh, traders or people who want to get into the industry? Um, so I think uh, right now, uh, like this crypto winter is uh, much different. Um, is much different from what was uh, in 2018 or 2019, for example, because uh, uh, right now everyone. Uh, is uh, pretty much uh, sure in the crypto industry long term. Uh, it wasn't the case in 2018-19 uh, when uh, many people uh, thought that okay, it's uh, many ICOs have raised money and like they failed to deliver, and uh, like there, there, were, there weren't many uh, real applications of technology at that time. At that time, now yeah. we can see that a lot of uh, like the huge DeFi ecosystems, a lot of game five projects, and they were. Uh, uh, working and they are, they are working very smoothly despite the even uh, huge fluctuations and uh, now like uh, RWAs are getting a lot of traction, several real, real world assets, yeah. yeah. S several uh, 
uh, several uh, billions of dollars were tokenized already in the last uh, yeah. uh, year. Like, so any, any advice that you have for people that want to get into the space and now have to deal with so many different products? Uh, it's uh, advice is to uh, first of all study it's a huge area and uh, be study? Before, study, yeah, be, be, before making any investments it's better to understand uh, what you are investing in and to if they want to start to invest in crypto it's better to start with uh, bitcoin and either and that's just the two uh, safer uh, investments compared to other investments in the crypto space. Okay, Bitcoin and Ether, got it. Well, thank you so much for your time today. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much, Renaud. It was a pleasure.